Welcome everyone. Let's stand to our feet. Are we ready to praise the Lord? Amen. I come into 
sing this song about Jesus, I just encourage you to set him before you now. Set the Lord always before you. Forget about everyone else. Forget about the worship team. Forget about your problems. Set the Lord before you.
you today. You are standing among us in your glory and your power. You are the healer. You are the deliverer. There is none like you. Now just open your heart to him right now. And just welcome him. For he is here just like he promised. He will never fail you. His everlasting love. There is no one like him. Now just tell him in your own words how much you love him. Worship him in your own words. Lord, we acknowledge your presence here. Just like you promised, you're here. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Please have your seats. Get your mobile camera. So uh, the Holy Spirit's already started to locate people, so we're going to just start moving. Come, you've been located by the Holy Spirit. Sandra, what do you need from the Lord? Um, I would like to be free of phobias. And That's the power of Jesus Christ going through you. You can turn down the translate a little bit and turn me up a little bit. Thank you. That's, oh, that's the Lord healing you. What does that feel like? Feels good. <laughs> You're free. You're free. Praise the Lord. What did you feel happen? It just felt like energy gone through my body. You know, Jesus has power. True power. The devil has energy, but Jesus has true power. All power belongs to him. That's the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You're free. Amen, amen, amen. Let's talk to you, shall we? Come. What's your name? Wilma. Wilma. What do you need from Jesus, Wilma? I would like for my son's kidney to be healed. He's there, and I have COPD. So which one first? My son. What's his name? Matthew. It's his left kidney, you said? Both. Both yeah. kidneys. What's wrong with them? Failure. Okay. So that's the power of Jesus Christ coming on your son. Okay, just close your eyes, I can't help you. That's the power of Jesus Christ coming on your son. Just close your eyes. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. That's the kidneys coming back to life. That's the kidneys coming back to life. I see the kidneys normal. I see the kidneys normal. Bless you. Bless you. So how does COP, COPD, is it? How does that affect your lungs? Like breathing. Like I can't breathe very well. I like short of breath. So your problem is that your lungs have physically shrunk. Okay. Did you know that? No. So your lung capacity physically is much less than it should be. I agree. So, so we need the Lord to do a miracle, expand 
to expand your lungs. So that's the power of Jesus Christ going into your lungs, okay? Just close your eyes. That's, oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's the power of Jesus Christ. Take a deep breath. It's the power of Jesus Christ going into your lungs. It's the your lungs expanding, 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 expanding. expanding. What do you feel happening? Feels like they are. Yeah, that's your, the Holy Spirit, the power of Jesus Christ, expanding your lungs. You're under lung surgery. Right now, you're having surgery. It's your lungs expanding, expanding, expanding. Deep breath in. What happened? I could like feel my lungs expanding. Take a deep breath. What's that like? Feels better. Feels better. Yeah. Say bye bye C O C O P D. Bye bye C O P D. You're healed. Someone give Jesus a clap. Let's talk to you, shall we? So how are your finances? Not so good. 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 And I'd say they've never been that good. No. How did I know? The Holy Spirit. There's no financial blessing or prosperity in darkness. It's the light that brings growth. So your problem is that darkness has stolen your finances for years and you're free, you're free, you're free, be blessed, be blessed in Jesus name, what do you feel happen? Relief, relief, you feel relief, someone say praise God, Pastor Nunu, Welcome. So just give us a short version. In 2015, yes. you came to a meeting in Auckland, New Zealand. Yes. yes. And it, I believe in the middle of preaching, I stopped. Yes, yes. And you were located by the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I told you that you wanted to be single. Singer, yes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can put it down. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, you're okay. All right. So, um, so how was that true? Yes, that was a correct. Uh, you just on you call me sister. Can you come to the front? And then you say you want to be singer. And you say in, God, in the vision, uh, you say I will marry pastor. You will be a pastor's wife. And that that prophecy become fulfilled in 2017. And you married a pastor? Yes, he's right there. You want to call him down here? Yes, yes, honey. <laughs> the Lord showed that it wasn't his plan for you to be single. Yes. <laughs> and two years later, you've married this wonderful pastor. Yes. Yes, sir. What was the other prophecy I gave you a little bit later? 
Um, you said uh, in the building church, you said God showed him that uh, I was leading praise, praise and worship and powerfully. Uh, yes. Is that what you do? Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, at the time you were in a relationship, what did, I t what did the Lord tell you about that? And in the end of the meeting, uh, you t uh, I asked a prayer and you, uh, I was in a relationship uh, through uh, like chatting and uh, I said, I'm in a relationship and you said, that's not from God, cut it off. And then, yeah, in that night, I cut it off and you pray for me and yes. Someone say praise God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> praise the Lord. James is happy. <laughs> is anyone would like to share tonight some, something that happened in a previous meeting? So you came to an online meeting? Um, yes, I've been to a, a few of them. Um, and last fall, I had got a lump about an inch and a half long, um, half inch, at least a half inch wide, like a football shape in my breast. And um, you happened to locate me by the Holy Spirit. And um, yeah, when I went in to take my mammogram and arthrogram, like, the next, um, it was like two days later, it was completely gone. And another time, so what's your name? Christina. Christina, what online meeting did you go to where you were located by the Holy Spirit? Do you remember? Um, no, because what, year? Uh, well, it was last fall. Okay. But... Um, I would even stay up during the night and wherever it was, if, if I could stay awake and I wouldn't fall asleep, I would, <laughs> I would be there. But um, there's another time that I didn't know. Um, I didn't know exact. There was a lot of... There's been a lot you know, of you know what? What's your name again? What's your name again? Christina. Christina, the Lord's just interrupting you. <laughs> Wants to bless you. That's the power of God. Something's coming out of her. She's all right, Michael. Something's coming out of her. Everyone pray. You know, if Jesus wants to interrupt you, to deliver you, and let him interrupt you. It off her. In Jesus' name, I said, in Jesus' name, loose your hold from her and get off her. anointing breaks the yoke that's the, that's the anointing on her that's the anointing on her the anointing breaks the yoke in Jesus name it's coming out it's coming out it's coming out it's coming out just stand up for a moment Stand up. Look at me. That's it. Look at me. It wants me to be afraid of Jesus. So that's the anointing going into her soul, going deep into her soul, bringing healing, wholeness into her soul. That's the power of the Lord. Is this hers? 
this is So complete overturn from the enemy. So it's just more stuff coming out. Just more stuff coming out. Actually, uh, Ruth, Ruth, would you like to just come and continue to pray? What's your problem? I have um, myotonia congenita. Thompson's disease and I was diagnosed when I was five and my daughter has it two daughters come out okay come How's that feel? It's better. It's better. Balance. You feel like you got balance? Yeah. Someone say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Paul. Sarah, when we prayed, did you feel anything happening? Yes, yes I um, felt my uh, sides kind of glowing, kind of like a warm feeling. Felt good. So you felt the anointing coming on you, and I never looked at you. No. This Lord told me, just look at this one. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Good. Someone say praise God. Praise God. praise God. Praise God, yeah. You know, every meeting we start by welcoming Jesus because He's the one who does the works. He's the one who does the works. Daryl, look at me. I'm prophesying. God loves you with an everlasting love. Where's your family? Um, I have uh, two brothers and two sisters, and uh, I'm currently engaged. You've been single a long time? Yes. So I looked at you from over there and I saw you were single and the Lord wants you to know that he loves you. Okay. So if a prophecy is for one, it's for everyone, basically. So God loves you with an everlasting love. His love is in such a way that it's different from the love of a fiancé or a wife. So look to him for that love. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to pray for your mum, okay? We, which, this is the one with the broken leg? Yeah, she had a broken leg. Sorry. Yeah, she had a broken leg a couple years ago. And the Holy Spirit located her. Online. Online, two years ago. And so her leg was healed. And it was beautiful because she expressed to me that she saw Jesus coming down and he put her hand, he put his hand on her leg. So... It was a beautiful miracle. And what happened after that, after the prayer? 
Um, she was walking back and forth. We were in a motel and she was just ecstatic, happy, walking back and forth with her cast on. And then we, we made an appointment to remove the cast. And how is she now? Oh, she's good. She's roller skating. <laughs> she's in roller derby now. <laughs> Sweetie, we're just going to pray for your mom. Come over here. That's right. Praise God. Are you ready, Zanata? Just going to pray for you, all right? So, uh, you have problems at night. Something comes to you. Yeah, I don't feel at ease. I feel like my mind is just racing. Um, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I'll explain it. Some, something comes to you. That's the fire of heaven falling on you, Zanata. That's the fire of heaven falling on you. Fire of heaven consuming, consuming fire, consuming fire coming upon you. Consuming fire. Lisa, in Jesus' name. The mighty name of Jesus. Loose your hold. Come out of a mind, out of a body. Loose your hold. In Jesus' name. You're free. You're free, Zanotta. You can get up. What did you feel happen? I felt the power of God in my feet and in my legs, and it just came forth towards me. So uh, that spirit caused you to wander from city to city throughout the United States. Okay? Now I'm in a vision and you have your own home and I see the flowers. It's springtime. Yes. Um, a few months ago we got our own housing after six years of being homeless. So, praise Jesus. She, Zanata, got into a car and drove 20 hours here with the kids from Colorado and then didn't have anything. And that, that's what this spirit's been doing. And, but we believe God in his dominion brought her here and delivered her tonight so that she can have a stable home, okay? Praise Jesus. God will heal a broken bone and he'll stop you from wandering all over the world, you know? We don't wander around the world. We, we are called and sent. There's a big difference. Amen? Praise God. Praise God. What do you need, Jesus? What's your, what's your name? Edith. 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 What do you need Jesus to do for you? Oh. Encounter the love of God. That's the Holy Spirit all over you, Edith. What does that feel like? It's amazing. Waves, glory, glory, glory all over you, Edith. That's the glory of God all over you. All over you. Who gets throbbing headaches? Throbbing headaches. Is that you? Throbbing headaches, where are you? Th 
throbbing headaches. <laughs> Welcome. What's the problem? I get uh, migraines, like kind of start in the back of my neck and they come up to the side. It feels almost like... What's your name? DJ. DJ. <laughs> DJ, the power of God is on your neck disc, okay? So right here where those headaches start, the power of God is on a disc reforming the disc okay that's surgery you're having okay I felt really tight at first but now I just feel a lot loose more loose and easy you're fine go and enjoy your new neck praise God praise God <laughs> For a man, spinal problem. That's the Lord giving you a new back. What's your name? Joel. So, Joel, that's the Lord giving you a new back. You believe that Jesus will do this? Yes. Yes. So, what's been the problem? Uh, sciatica, pinched nerves, uh, numbness in my feet, legs. And, uh, that's the power of Jesus Christ coming on you. What's your name again? Joel. Joel, that's the power of Jesus Christ coming on you. L3, L5, L3, L5. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Yes. How did I know what this it was? Jesus. That's the power of God going through the disc. Power of Jesus Christ going through the disc. Power of God on the disc. Power got on the disc. That's the disc being reformed. Bone going in. New bone from heaven. New bone from heaven. Going into the disc. New bone from heaven. New bone from heaven. Something's happening with your legs. So just begin moving your legs. Something's happening. What's happening? It, they're, it's, they're hot. They're hot. Go for a walk. Come on, quickly, go for a walk. Praise the Lord. Amen. You could barely walk when you came over to me. Yeah. Well, just enjoy your, your run. Go on. Run around the building. There you go. Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the glory of your presence, we your people give you reverence. So arise from your and be blessed by our praise as we Look. 
Can we talk to you? Just tell me yes or no. Did you ever smoke? No, I tried it, but not. You tried it. Just that was way back in like college, but it was just like, whew, no, that was it. Amen, amen. What do you want from Jesus? A more growth, like in the spirit. So why did you decide not to smoke? Didn't fit me. So I just want to honor you for right choice. Right choice. Because right choices are the foundation for the future. So the enemy came and tempted you. Because I looked at you and I saw you all those years ago. And you would not be the person you are now if you'd not made the right choice. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. That's true. That's true. And it's not the only right choice you've made. No. Because um, there was relationship choices that you made. That's right. And you made some right choices. That's correct. And uh, you said bye-bye. Yes. Yes. And you're glad you did. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's right. That's right. So Deuteronomy, I think it's 19, says choose life. So I just want to say you chose well. You chose well. Even though some of your choices were sacrificial, were difficult, even painful, but you chose well. Okay? So you chose well coming here too. That's right. <laughs> yes. So what do you want Jesus to do for you? So a lot of things, like one is number one is um, I want to grow more in my gifts in the spirit. So you want to grow in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the spirit hmm. with the fivefold ministry. So all of this is getting to your prayer request. Okay. So to move in the gifts of the Spirit, you have to choose to believe. You have to make that right choice. Yes. So should we talk about that? Yes. It's sacrificial. It's a sacrifice. So the choice of faith is a choice to believe what God says to you and not what you see or hear. That's right. It's to believe although man speaks other things. Receive the gift of faith. So she has just received a deposit in her spirit of riches of heaven called faith. From here on, this young lady, are you still young? Yes. This young lady, this young lady will move in another level of faith. Because without faith, the gifts won't operate properly. Found faith is the grace that God honors the most. Amen. Amen. What's happening? I feel the power, God. Have some more. Oh, that's glory. That's glory. That's glory. <laughs> Thank, you, <Jesus. laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Now you see the gift of faith, and now anointing is coming upon you like oil, flowing upon you like oil, like oil. So you're receiving an impartation. Terry and Denise, you want to come here for a moment? You're receiving an impartation. And this, from tonight, your life will never be the same again. Because you're going to move in a higher realm of the Holy Spirit. 
What does that feel like? It's increasing. So while the Holy Spirit's on you, I'm just going to have a chat to Terry. Terry was in Dayton. Come over here. There we go. Sorry for pulling you around. T Terry was in Dayton, Ohio. What happened to you? <laughs> I got slain in the spirit. And the Lord directed my path completely. What happened to you when you were on the floor? I just couldn't stop from laughing. I laughed for a half hour at least. And what was that? <laughs> I can't stop it again. <laughs> and after you laughed for half an hour, how, you received an impartation. What happened to you after that? Oh, uh, the Lord. Uh, what sort of healings and what happened? Oh, uh, uh, the Lord directed me in ways that I couldn't even imagine anybody and everybody that I got in contact with. The Lord, I prayed for him. He directed my path and he healed every one of them. Cancer, people with stage four cancer. About how many? O over 700 now. And it's, it's awesome. Over 700. I tell you, he's taking you to another level. Amen. You got delivered, sister. Amen. I needed it. <laughs> you needed it. <laughs> so, Kawada, deliverance. Is there any movement in the stomach? Not, I don't feel anything right now. It's gone. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Kwana, you know, Jesus just didn't want to wait for you to get in the prayer line. <laughs> I was praying and asking the Lord to deliver me because I came to Texas. I drove there from Kentucky and I got prayed for. It was delivered, but that in the same two nights later, I had a sexual dream and it came back. So I was praying. I said, Lord, I drove all the way here. Please set me free. Well, he did. And you know, we stay free by faith. Amen. 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 Come on, give Jesus a clap. Praise God. What do you want from Jesus? Well, uh. So, Crohn's disease. How old's your grandson? Uh, he's 27. So this is a digestive system. Yes. Yes. So I was going to talk to you about the Holy Spirit is talking about your grandson. What's his name? Nicholas came. So that's the power of God going through Nicholas. Just close your eyes. Everyone pray for Nicholas. So that's the power of God going through the digestive system. Okay. Now there's a problem in the bowel. Did you know about that? Well, I thought that was part of Crohn's, the stomach and the bowel. So there's a problem in the bowel. The bowel is kinked, kinked. That I didn't know. So the bowel, and the power of God is in the bowel, moving the bowel, okay? So it's like misformed. So that's the power of God going through the bowel because he has a lot of problem with bowel movements. Yes, yes. I'll... So the doctor didn't know, but Jesus knows all about it, okay? Yes, that's true. He, he goes all the time. The stomach doesn't stop the bile. The bile comes through the intestinal tract. He's always in the bathroom. That's the power I got going through the digestive system, system of Nicholas in Jesus' name. And he's healed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I got delivered from the uh, clot in the right lung and God touched me. That's the Lord's healing power going into your lung. That's the Lord's healing power in your lung. That's the power of God going through your lung. Power of God going in through your lung. Just let him down in the seat if he wants to fall, okay? That's the blood clot coming out, coming out, coming out, blood clot coming out.
power of God is going through my body. Do you have problems breathing or anything? No, I don't have any problem. Just two days before doctor diagnosed me, we had planned to come over here. It's, I believe it's gone. Okay. I'm so blessed, so happy to be here. And I pray for your ministry and your family long life. So, yes, what's your name? Uh, Derek. Okay, what happened? I had like b baptism of fire and uh, the allergy like went away. Oh, the allergies went away. Praise God, Darren. Have some more. Hallelujah. Anyone else? So what happened, sister? You prayed for me. I mean, what he said was what God showed you. Yeah. I came for something else, but God told me what I needed. And now I'm waiting for my second miracle about this guy. So, so what, what happened last night? You prayed for me for my knees. Yeah. I have swelling here. I didn't write it in tremor, and I cannot... I have a trigger finger, whatever they call it. Fibromyalgia, so much stress. How does the arthritis uh, affect you? My knees, I had knee replacement, my shoulders. I had surgery everywhere, my eyes. And now, look, that's how I far, my hand doesn't go anymore. I'm just stressed. It's horrible. Power of God going up your legs, in your knees, in your knees, in your knees. Okay, move your knees. That's right. Move the other one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bend over. And she had a, what, a car accident? No. What was it? Deteriorated. Okay, bend over. Someone say praise the Lord. The accident, the, my lower back is the accident. It's all finished. Amen. Amen, thank you. I suffered almost all my life. I'm 70, almost my life. And You're 70. And what was wrong with your knees? Oh, just, de I mean, they were deteriorated. They what? Deteriorated. The knees were deteriorated? Yes. Like bone on bone or what? Yes. yes. I had knee replacement. The pain was there. And I suffered. I took medication. So you had knee replacements and God healed your knee replacements? Exactly. Yes. Someone give Jesus a clap. Brother, come on, you don't need this. You told me you didn't need it anymore. Come on, give Jesus a clap. Amen. What's your name? My name is Tyrone. So what was the problem? Uh, arthritis just that took me over for the last 10 or 15 years. I've been bothered, but it's really got a grip on me now. And uh, I really need uh, deliverance from Come over here, Tyrone. What the Lord has begun is finishing right now. Just turn towards me. That's all right. What the Lord began last night, that's the power of God in your knees. Power of God in your knees, wrapping your knees, wrapping your knees. Wow, you're feeling that. What does that feel like? I feel like fire. Fire. That's the fire of Jesus Christ burning through you. It's Tyrone, isn't it? Yeah. Burning through you, sir. Burning, 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 burning right in the arthritis. Burning, burning, burning right through you. I don't know if you can see that. Just show, just zoom in on the legs. His legs are shaking under the power of God. Shaking under the power of God. What's happening? Oh, I feel, I feel my life strengthening. Oh, 
Oh, I just feel good all over. Thank you, Lord. You feel Jesus all over you? Hey? Yes, all over me. Gloria, all over me. Praise God. Someone give Jesus a clap. Amen. Amen. I was just listening to Jenna before us, how the Lord healed her of um, impossible for your bladder to work. And the Lord, he had a catheter and a few years ago the Lord healed you? Yeah, yeah. I had a spinal cord injury halfway down my back. So they said I would use catheters the rest of my life and uh, that I would be able to walk and run before I could go to the bathroom on my own. But somebody prayed for me and a couple of people, Holy Spirit rushed through me like a rushing water. And about 10 days later, my bladder started spasming. And within three days, no more catheters from 300 a month to none. Wow. Praise God. Come on. All right. Let's go for it. Watch out. Just wait a minute, Tyrone. I know you're quick. Go down there. Hop out of the way, guys. Praise. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Lift those knees up. He's a bit drunk, but lift those knees up. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I've been off my feet for, off my feet for four months, laying on my back. You've been off your feet for four months, four months on your back. Four my months. And it's just been two weeks since I've been home trying to rehab. And I came here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire going through you, sister. Fire the Holy Spirit going through you. Going through you. Fire the Holy Spirit going through you. Fire the Holy Spirit. Fire the Holy Spirit. Fire the Holy Spirit. Going through you. 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 Just move the little boy. Yeah, just move the boy. Fire the Holy Spirit going through you. Going through you. Going through you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shikara. Okay, you're okay. Hop up. Come. What'd you feel happen? Oh, you're under the, the power of God. So I'll tell you what happened to her. She can't get up. The consuming fire of Jesus Christ burnt through her and cleansed her. Cleansed her. The fire cleanses. The fire cleanses. In the Old Testament... They used to put the spoil through the fire. The silver, the gold passed through fire. Amen. Praise God. So that's purifying fire. Hallelujah. Someone say, praise the Lord. You see, I, I'm, I'm walking with the gentleman, and the Lord says to me, this lady, and I'm like, I'm like, Lord, we're in the middle of something. He says, do as you're told. <laughs> Turn to your, the person beside you and say, just do as Jesus says. Do as you're told. There's, Jesus is in the room. And he's directing us. Amen? Amen. <laughs> you feel that? I do. <laughs> what does that feel like? I, I don't have any words to describe it. <laughs> it's just awesome. He is beautiful beyond description. Too awesome for words. Amen? Amen.
Now she's in the glory. What do you say about Jesus now? He's awesome. Turn to your neighbor and say, he is awesome. Wow, sister, you got the power of God last night, didn't you? Amen, amen. A double dose, I think. Yes, sir. I remember you, you fall out, fell out of the chair when I was talking to someone else. I know. <laughs> What's your name? Kawana. Kawana, that's right. What happened to you? I was sitting down and the next thing I knew I was on the floor. And then I was going to raise my hand to say I came from Kentucky and I just started screaming. Hey. I came from Kentucky. Come, come. What happened? I don't know. Stop. That's the power of Jesus Christ. It's glory. It's glory. It's glory. It's glory. It's the glory of God. That was the demon saying, stop that. It's glory. That's so winging so tall out on me. I walked up to her, you know, about what state she's from, and then I saw an intense glory came down. So, so and then what? she's like, stop that. You know? As the demon erupted. Praise God. All of you, come out. All of you, I'm speaking to you. All of you, come out. In Jesus' name. All of you. Have a bucket. Bucket. All of you, come out. Come out. Come out. Spit it out. Come out. Come out, all of you. All the demonic poison. In Jesus' name. There it goes. It's not only the poisons that are coming out. It's all right, just leave it, Michael. It's not only the poisons that are coming out. The spirits are coming out with it. You're free. Yeah. <laughs> you came to, to be delivered, didn't you? Yes, I had movement in my stomach. Yeah. You had a demon moving in your stomach. Yes, yes. Whew. Hold on. And, and what happened? Oh, Whew. wait a minute. Uh, no, just keep it together. We want the testimony. I'm trying. Um, I, I can't. Oh. No, don't lose it, sister. Oh, <laughs> well, praise God. Anyway, she got delivered. Hallelujah. <laughs> Someone say praise the Lord. Yes, stand up, please. Um, prayed for my insomnia and I slept for six hours straight, which I haven't done in a long time. So, but for me, um, <laughs> uh, anxiety and insomnia. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's the power of God coming on you. That's the power of God coming on you. That's the Lord setting you free. Jesus has come to you. Loose your hold. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, get out. In loose your hold. In Jesus' name. And be free. Be free. Be free. Do you ever get stomach problems, cramps, indigestion? Um, most mornings, yes. Just have to go to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> so that's what we're praying about. 
this thing that causes the, what was it, paranoia or insomnia? Inso insomnia and anxiety. Insomnia and anxiety was also <laughs> causing his <laughs> stomach problems. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Come. So you got sleep. Now joy. Peace and joy go hand in hand. What's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, welcome. Love Thank your you. big smiley face. Yeah, what happened? I got delivered yesterday. You got delivered. How did that demon affect your life? Uh, it was more like trauma based. So what does that mean? Um, there's a lot of hypervigilance, like I get tense or like anxious about different things. Okay. Yeah. So you get anxious and so on? Yeah, about almost anything. Right. Yeah. And, and you call that trauma based? Yeah, because uh, God has been working on me about different issues from childhood. I call it demon based. Yes, it is. <laughs> you know, yeah. like demons will highlight problems from your childhood and they'll make you feel terrible and they'll make you think you need therapy and counseling and all this and actually you just need it cast out yeah. that's it yeah. so what happened last night i was so happy i i, I just feel relieved so what happened you got delivered what happened oh, oh during that time i was yeah. screaming <laughs> you're screaming <laughs> yeah i screamed a lot very loud Left to right. Lady prayer helper. Come out. In Jesus' name. All of you. You snake spirit, come out. You're free, sister. Come, come. What did you feel happen? What happened? Fire. Fire. You felt the fire. What else happened? Screaming. I knew there'd be deliverance. Okay. What? I knew there'd be deliverance. I believe you're free, okay? Come and give her a hug, Ruth. Have a hug, ministry. So, what did you feel when you were screaming? I was just on fire, all over me. You felt fire yeah. all over you? Yeah. And the demon was being cooked? I think so, yeah. So I think the Lord is very happy that the demon was cooked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I 
I think these guys want to share. You want to help her up, sir? You want to help her up, Michael? Praise God. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, what's it about? Um, so last night it was really interesting. You told me that I've been seeking God diligently, but I lack gentleness and kindness or I've forgotten about those things. So, uh, which is really funny because my wife has told that many times to me. So she's like, he is a man of God. <laughs> Uh, so we should hear from the wife, shouldn't we, you know, because we'll, we'll get the, another aspect of this. Come on, tell us. Yeah, so my husband is 110% in love with the Lord, very diligently seeks him, and he can become so incredibly passionate that sometimes he does lack gentleness and love in his delivery sometimes. <laughs> so you can confirm the prophecy to be true. Yes, and he, he said that he thought I was going to bust out laughing. <laughs> so I see you seeking God diligently, Ryan. And I want you to know that God loves you and to rest in his love. Because sometimes we can try so hard, we can try so hard that we lack the gentleness and love of Jesus towards others. So don't remember to be Christ-like. Okay? God loves you. You know, last night I didn't really feel anything. I was just kind of like, dang, you know, uh, just kind of bummed. But we had nap time um, around 2 today, and I had a dream. And in the dream, it was like the Lord said to me, it's your resentment of people that's keeping you from the gentle and kindness of my love. And I saw this like chair and it was like people who have like lackadaisical faith or like caught in religion or like arrogant or, you know, just not se serious about their faith. And the Lord was like, Ryan, I love those people just as much as I love you. And you have to realize that this is bigger than you being right. This is about me saving a lost world. So, um, yeah, that, and, he was, and he also said, remember that it's my kindness that leads people to repentance, so don't forget the power of kindness. So. Wow. Amen. I was, we talked about it a lot today, and um, I came for something else of feeling like something is off with me, but you said something I completely wasn't expecting about a generational curse of my mother's tongue. And it just so happened that my sister and I had been talking about that the previous week, that she teased my mom, calling her my grandmother's name for the way that she was talking. And so I had to text my sister today about what you, what you said. Yeah. So your mother, she had a bit of a tongue. Is that right or not? At, at times. Yeah. Her mother's mother did for sure. My grandmother. So that's what you've been freed of. It's a generational curse. That's what you're free of. Amen. Well, you know, God loves you, sir. Thank you so much for catching. All right. You know, we can be normal and passionate. We, like, what I'm trying to say is we can love God and be gentle and love people. You know, we, we, some people think that being passionate about God is being emotionally intense, you know? But um, I can stand here relaxed and see the power of God fall upon people, see people being healed and miracles, and I don't have to be, you know, all uptight. Right. Amen. And some people, they get all uptight when they're around God. Mm. Well, and funny thing is he's been following your ministry for years and I haven't really, no offense, it's been kind of his thing. And he's like, you're going to really like him because he doesn't have a whole lot of extra intensity. He just says it how it is. Yeah. So I, I like that a lot. <laughs> so I, I'd like to give you another word. Welcome to the love of God. Welcome to the love of God. <sighs> So that's the love of God going through you. That's the love of God going through you. The love of God. The love of God. 
Welcome to the joy of the Lord, in Jesus' name. You've received an impartation of joy. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Are we having a good time, sir? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, <laughs> Woo, Jesus, Hallelujah, uh, praise the Lord. Every breakthrough comes through the Word of God. The Bible says the Word works effectively in you who believe. The gifts of the Spirit are a manifestation of the Word of God. The word indwells the spirit. And then the word works in people's lives. To have a ministry that's not word based is to build your house on the sand. You're asking for trouble in your ministry. Because the words of Jesus are the rock of our life. The Holy Spirit brings to us the word of God. You with me? I spent years and years and years doing theological studies. I stuffed my brain full of knowledge. And when I finished, I felt more dead than alive. You need the Holy Spirit to bring the Word of God to you. Doctrine is beneficial, but without the application of the Holy Spirit, it's ineffective in the spiritual realm. So, I had a, a revelation. A revelation is when God brings the word of God to you so that you can teach others. So, I share the revelation for your benefit. So that we can be mutually blessed. So I saw the Lord Jesus Christ and the heavenly city and the highway to him and to the city. And there was nothing else. It was just him. And his highway. I am the way. The truth and the life. He is the only way. I'm telling you, it's Jesus. 
It's through him that we come to the heavenly city. He said, I am the way. There is no other way to heaven. Only one way leads to heaven. All other ways find their way to hell. Isaiah 45:21. And there is no other God besides me. Sorry. There is no other God besides me. A just God and Savior. There is none besides me. When I looked in the vision, I was overwhelmed with one thing. There is no other. Only Him. He is. Who was. And who will be. There is no other path. All other paths are lies. All other paths are darkness. And when you're on the path of Jesus, you will understand that there is no other path. He is so real. He will capture your heart, your eyes, your mind, your everything. And there is a heavenly city. It is the inheritance of believers. This body, the Bible says, is a temporary tent. But there is an eternal home. And to know Jesus in your heart is to be on the way to heaven. Because Jesus Christ was born with a mission. He was sent by the Father to be the Savior of the world. He died on the cross, shed his blood, that through him, we might have eternal life. I want to talk about that way. In Revelation 21 verse 2 it says, I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from heaven. I heard a loud voice, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Wow. Through the shed blood of Jesus Christ, he has made a way for us to his heavenly city. He has prepared a mansion for each of us who believe in him. The prophet Isaiah talks about Jesus the way. A highway shall be there and a road. And it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass by. It shall be for others. 
Whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. No lion shall be there. No, no beast shall go up there. It shall not be found there. But the redeemed shall walk there. We are redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Only the redeemed shall walk on this highway to heaven. With everlasting joy on their heads, they shall obtain joy and gladness. For all those religious people who hate the joy and the laughter, I'm looking forward to when I'm crowned with joy and gladness. Overflowing joy. Yeah, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. What does that mean to you? There is a joy that wells up in the Holy Spirit that brings a supernatural strength that delivers people from evil spirits that heals bodies. It's the joy of the Lord. When you oppose the joy of the Lord, you oppose the work of Jesus Christ. The redeemed shall walk on this highway and they shall be crowned with joy and gladness. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Choose life. Every other pathway leads to death. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, Jesus is the shepherd of your soul. And a shepherd leads his sheep. Let him lead you to heaven. Let your way be according to his leading. He will never lead you into darkness, into sin, into compromise. He will never lead you into anger. He will never lead you into fornication. For all those people who think God led me to this person and God led us to live together, God never led you into sin. I've been a student of the Bible since I was about 17. 
and the truth of the word of god is that god has only placed his blessing on the union of a husband and wife and you'll never be able to change the truth that's established forever in heaven. On his pathway, God is righteous. To live on his pathway is to live according to the standards of God's righteous word. Don't be deceived with your own excuses. There is no justification before God's throne of sin. You might have every excuse in the world. You can talk today, but on the last day you'll be speechless before the judge. On the last day you will meet the righteous God. And only the blood of Jesus will redeem you. Repent and believe the gospel. For you were like sheep going astray. But now have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your soul. Jesus said in John 10, 7, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. He will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal. To kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it even more abundantly. May his way become our path. May his highway be the road of your life. Psalm 85 verse 13, righteousness will go before him and shall make his footsteps our pathway. When Jesus walks before you, he walks a straight path, a straight highway from here to heaven. It never varies. Filled with light and glory and joy and peace and all the fruit of the Spirit and righteousness. Do not turn to the left. Do not turn to the right. For anyone. Not for your husband. Not for your wife. Not for your children. Not for your boss. Straight on that path. Because this life is temporary. What is coming is eternal. May when we meet the Lord, He not be ashamed of us. When you're sitting watching television, watching YouTube, and you're watching filth, know this that he is not with you you are separated from his glory like a prodigal child you have wandered off somewhere but he's not there 
He will not accompany you in your sin. He is God. He is unchanging in his ways. The punishment of sin is death. And the free gift of God is eternal life. And it's all by faith. Proverbs 4.10 Hear my son and receive my sayings and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in right paths. When you walk, you will not be hindered. When you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold instruction. Do not let go. Keep her. For she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked. And do not walk in the way of the evil. But the path of the just is like the shining sun. Proverbs 4.18 That shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. The way of the way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. If you're walking in sin, you don't know what's hindering you. You don't know why you stumble. Because you're walking in darkness. Sin will blind you. But righteousness shines. Joshua 1.7 Be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law of Moses who commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. There's no death in the highway of God. There's prosperity, blessing, healing, deliverance, every blessing of heaven is in the highway. One Samuel twelve twenty one. Do not turn aside. But then you would go after empty things, which cannot profit or deliver. So they are nothing. When you look in the spiritual realm, they profit nothing. When you submit yourself to the Lordship of Christ, it profits much. The spiritual realm, there's great blessing. When you surrender yourself to Jesus, I encourage you tonight. Make that choice. Step onto the highway. He's in the highway. You will meet him in the highway. And he'll take you directly to his home. Heaven is our home. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Just bow your, your heads for a moment. It's time to step on the highway. 
It's time to step on the highway. If you choose today to step on his highway and to step away from your sin, I invite you to put up your hand to Jesus. And say, Lord, I step onto your highway. I'm tired of my sin. I'm tired of stumbling. I'm tired of lack of success. Of demonic attacks. Of the kingdom of darkness. I'm fed up with it. I, today I choose righteousness. Come Lord Jesus, save my soul, deliver me from evil, bring me into the kingdom of light, forgive me for my sin, wash me with the blood of Jesus, I forgive, say I forgive all those who hurt me. I forgive them. I bless them. I bless them. I love them. I love them. I let them go. I let them go. It's gone. I receive Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord. I choose His way, His truth, and His life. In Jesus' name, I believe heaven is my home now. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Give him a clap. Any children that need prayer, let's just pray for the children. Come, sweetie. Okay, darling. God loves you. What's your name? Sally. Sally, what's the problem? Um, my brother, he needs healing. And you? Um, I just like to grow in salvation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke this. We command it off you in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone pray for the children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus. There it goes. There it goes. That's the power of God going through your child. That's the power of God. Like a wind going into your son. Going into your son. Moving, moving, moving in your son. In Jesus' name. We command the brain, be healed. The brain, be healed. In Jesus' name. I've often explained that when we pray for people, the manifestation is not always now, particularly with the autistic children. They go home, we get people, they come back and they testify. So, praise God. In Jesus' mighty name, we rebuke this.
I've seen you before, haven't I? What's your name? Leo. 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 Addis. Are you from Eritrea? Ethiopia. Praise God. Lord, we thank you for these two boys. And we continue in faith, Lord. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. That's the power of God going through him. Power of God going through him. Lord, we just believe what you show us. We believe your word, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Michael? Just let go of your son. Are these all autistic children? Wow. You know, apart from Jesus, there's no cure. Everyone pray. Can we have the prayer helpers come and pray for all the children? That's the power I got on him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I was just thinking about that blind lady, you know? Didn't even know she, I don't think I, I didn't even know she was blind. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Does he have digestive problems? No. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is power got operating? Amen. Power God coming up his legs, coming up his legs, coming up his legs, coming up his legs. The power of the Lord is present. Yes, yes. <laughs> the power of the Lord is present. I remember in, in Wales a few years ago, almost every autistic child was healed in the meeting. I believe that right now. What's your name? Kurt. That's the power of God going through your mind, Kurt. Okay, praise the Lord. Getting healed of autism. What does that feel like? Well, it's feeling better for me. It's the power of God going through your mind. Can I tap you? That's the power of God going into his mind.
Thank you, Lord. These are my two kids. This one likes to sing. Yeah, she does. You like to sing, darling? Hmm? Good. She said good. Yeah. That's the power I got on her. So she right now she's receiving an impartation. It's on her vocal cords to sing. Okay? So go back home and and in the right time get her tuition for singing. Because she's going to sing for the Lord. Okay? She she's got a gifting and a call. Not just a gifting, but a call to sing. Okay? She'll have a powerful voice. I see her singing in church. Okay? On the stage. Sarah, she has eczema. She has eczema and dermatitis atopic all over her fore. She has dermatitis atopic. It's a kind of an eczema and it's all skin. Come. God loves you. You ready? Yes. Hey. That's the power of the Lord Jesus going through your skin. What does that feel like? I'm shivering. That's the power of Jesus Christ healing you. Your skin is being healed. Why would you push people over when Jesus can do it? <laughs> Amen. To get a touch from the Lord is so good, isn't it? Amen. So we adopted Malachi two years ago from a very dire situation. So just tell me brief, what's wrong? Um, he has, we, we just think that we want generational curses, anything that came through his birth or anything like that. And then he's slowing growth right now. He's very, very low on the charts. So, and then Harrison here is having nightmares and hearing voices. Leave her, leave her, leave her. Thank you, Lord. That's the power I got on the boy's bones. Power I got on the boy's bones. So when you adopted him, he received a spiritual inheritance, a blessing from you. Okay? So don't think of him as in, about his past. God has blessed him. Because of your act of love, he has inherited blessing. Okay? All right? Smile. <laughs> so um, I'm seeing him... God has right now given him a real intellectual ability, like maths and uh, like very smart. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. All right? So he hears voices, you were saying. He hears voices and tells us terrible nightmares. So be, just just monitor what he's reading, okay? At school or at home, you know, just what he's watching on his tablet or whatever. Just monitor it, okay? All right? Um, she's Cazarel. She's three years old, and uh, she frequently keeps falling sick. In Jesus' name, be free. Amen. I'm, my name is Charles and I'm nine. And I want God to pray about my eyes. Cause. Just close your eyes. 
close your eyes receive the anointing Okay, get up. Have a look. What was the problem? My eye, it kept on turning when I tried to look from it. Okay. So it was hard to see from it. Okay, and now? And now I can look really good from it. Someone say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Michael, hang around. Don't walk off. So, someone has come to visit you. Do you know who? God. Jesus has come. Do you see him yet? Yeah. What does he look like? He looks like a proud man who should always be alive and help people. So, he's with you. You're going to be a preacher, I think. Okay. Someone say, praise God. That's the power of God going down through your back. Okay. Yeah, down through your back. Okay, you're healed. Move. Move. She do know so she be my own. How's that? Move down. Bend down. Right down. Gong chi my own. How's that? Hello, Kansare. Speak. Good. Good. Who healed you? Jesus. Speak up. Jesus. Speak up. Jesus. Amen. So it has been written, it has been written with good success. Okay, your problem goes back to your childhood, okay? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cast out all the demons. Send them somewhere. They can never come back. <laughs> oh, praise God. This is for you, Chandra. Yes. Amen. I will be crying. Come on, get out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, loose your hold. That's the power I got on you, Chantel. Stand up, Chantel. Power got going through you, Chantel. What does that feel like? <laughs> it's a lot of power and white light, and it's glory, and it's heavenly. 
And it's fire! It's the wind of God going through you, Chantel. Okay, move, move your knees. Feeling better. Feeling better. Yeah. Who healed you? Jesus. Jesus, serve him. You're free. Power got on you, sir. God loves you, Jeff. Have some more. That's the glory of God on you, Jeff. Ah, a little shaky. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh, wow. Have some more, Jeff. Burn, 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 burn. Be baptized in fire, 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 holy fire. And the fire in the temple never ceases to burn. The fire in the temple never ceases to burn. May the temple of God, your body, never cease to burn with the fire of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Jeff. love Jesus yeah I do but not all of you is in alignment with heaven some things aren't right in your life do you know what I'm talking about ever dance before Linda I saw Jesus dancing with me earlier But have you ever danced? Yeah. Yeah. Like in church or something? I don't know. You know I'm asking prophetic questions. <laughs> so you saw Jesus dancing tonight? Yes. He wants you to dance with him. That's what I saw. The freedom that you desire will come when you dance with Jesus. And if you're in a church that doesn't want you to dance in public with Jesus, find somewhere that you can dance with him. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. What's wrong with your left foot? I believe there's like a, a callus on a left side. That's the power of God on your left foot. Power of God on you. Oh, that's lovely. Do you feel that? Yes. Wow. Okay, move your do something with your left foot, Ryan. Hey, 
not feeling no pain. I'm feeling no pain. <laughs> Who healed you? My Father in heaven, Jesus. Praise him. Hallelujah. Wonderful maker. Thank you. So do you know Brian? Yes. Yes, I do. That's my husband. <laughs> so you made a good choice. Yes. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Lord. What's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer's uh, a leader. Yes, she is. She um, must be interesting in the house because you're the leader type. You know what I mean? <laughs> is that right? It is. It is. So, um, maintain the servant attitude of Christ and be diligent in your leadership. I'll say it again. Maintain your, the servanthood to Christ and to others and be diligent in the gifting and the character of leadership that Jesus has given you. Okay? All right? Because as you're a servant to your husband, the marriage will be blessed. Yes. Amen? Amen. Thank you. And your husband has like a gifting of love. That's right. <laughs> yes. And we have the children. Well, we've been believing for some additions to our family. We have two sons. So you have two sons. Yes. That's right. Antonio and Angelo. Antonio and Angelo they're they're older. The one just finished the Navy, and the other lives in South Carolina. I think there's a little girl coming. <laughs> it's a power got going down your back on the disc. Okay, bend over. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> Who healed you? Jesus. Jesus did. So Nita, got back pain, huh? Just <laughs> That's the Lord healing your back, Sunita. Allergies gone in Jesus' name. What does that feel like? Fire. Fire. Feels like fire. Someone say praise the Lord. That's the power of God, Michael, on the prostate cancer. Okay, you believe that Jesus will do this? I know he's doing it already. Isaiah 53. The faith, faith. I need to talk. That's the power of God on you. Okay. Okay, when I tap you, this power is going to go through you. There it goes. 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 There it goes, Michael. I believe you're okay, Michael. Okay. Praise God. Amen. Go and serve the Lord. All right. He accepted Christ two weeks ago. 
Tristan. He invited him into his heart. He's praying. More grace to you, huh, Tristan? That's the power of Jesus going through you. Jesus is not done. That's a spiritual tap to your me to your mood disorder. Did you feel a shock? Yeah, I did. It's like tingling all over my body. What did you feel when I tapped you? I felt hot. I believe you. Your mood disorder is gone. So the hormonal balance sometimes is pretty bad. Yes. Like you feel like you've lost control. Yes. And there are other things I want to talk about. We don't want to tell everyone everything, do we? <laughs> no, I guess not. That's the power of the Lord healing your hormonal imbalance. And your home. Lord, bring healing there too. Amen. You know, what's your name? Julie. Julie, you're not defined by what someone else has said to you. Does that make sense? Yes. Talking about your home life. You're not defined by what someone else said of you because it's not true. Okay. Be healed in your soul, in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, the effect of those words, let them be banished from the soul, in Jesus' name, never again. So who are you? A daughter of the King. Precious, loved, accepted, righteous, redeemed by the blood with a great destiny, gifted of God. Amen. The day you found Jesus was a day of great joy. Is that right? Yes. Yep. True, very true. Yep. It was a day when bondage was broken. You had peace with God. I mean, I mean. The day you found Jesus. And you too, huh? Yes. Let the fire of God consume the altar of your heart. For God is a consuming fire. That's His power. His power coming into you. His power. His power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be baptized in fire. I see a fountain, a waterfall flowing down on you, sir. A waterfall of glory. I 
I believe that God has granted the desire of your heart. Prayer to have a second child. I believe he has granted it. In Jesus' name. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And he's Callistus. And he had a massive heart attack in 2019. And he has an ICD implanted. So I'm praying for a new heart for him. sick every two months so this winter I got the baby this is for you is it yes. I got the baby and I almost died and almost died I lost a lot of blood and I got blood in Jesus name Tanya be delivered in Jesus' mighty name. Be free in Jesus' name. And be whole. You ready, Brenda? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. That's the power I got on your left calf. Never again, Brenda. Yes. Amen. Amen. Never again. Amen. Close your eyes, I can't help you. That's the power of God going through you, Brenda. Wow. better a lot better I can move it yes amen turn this way right you ready blood thinners goodbye goodbye blood thinners it's power God going through you Brenda sorry I feel the power of God going through me so you're single, are you, Jeremy? Uh, not married, but I just got in a relationship. You were in a relationship before and didn't work out. Correct. She left. It was on and off, and it just kind of fizzled out. There was a lot of confusion about what was happening. That wasn't on your placard, was it? No. No, I wasn't. <laughs> okay. I've been wanting clarity on that for almost three years. Well, you're getting it. So I want to invite you in a deeper relationship with the Lord. Because um, the last one ended because there was no direction. There's no leadership, okay, in the relationship. There's no direction. Neither of you knew what you were doing. So you need to hear from God. You need Him to direct you, okay? So I want to encourage you to press into the Lord, okay, so that this one can be blessed, all right? So because you have a problem with kind of meandering in life. Okay? Yeah. Jesus is your leader. Okay? So press into Him. Press into His Word. You need spiritual discipline. Spiritual discipline. Okay? So, like, when you get up in the morning, 
Sometimes you'll have prayer time, sometimes you won't. That type of thing? Yeah. Lately, yeah. So you don't want to go into a relationship without leadership, without spiritual discipline and direction. Okay, because God's called the man to be the head, not the tail. And at the moment, you're kind of swimming around. That's the power I got on you, young man. That's the power I got on you, young man. So, young man, I'm seeing you in the heavenly realm. God's taken you t tonight into the heavenly realm. Thank you, Lord. Power got on your right knee, sir. So, do you want knee surgery or you want divine surgery? I want divine surgery. That's the power I got on your knee. I'm feeling a heat going through your knee. You feel that yet? Yes, I do. Just going to tap your knee. Okay, you're fine. You can get up now. Move your knee. Yeah, it feels definitely feels better. Definitely. Are you trying to convince me? Because I told you it was healed. No, no, it's healed. It's healed. Who healed you, sir? Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It feels great. Now, sir, yes. I believe that God wants to give you a rest. Okay. Have a rest. Sometimes you just need a rest. Hey. Have a rest. Have a rest. Have a rest. power got on you. Come. You like ice cream? Yes. How did I know? I don't know. Jesus told you. <laughs> Are you allowed to eat ice cream? Um, well, it irritates me, so I have issues eating it. Yeah. So. Gives you acid reflux or something. Yes. How did I know? Jesus told you. So enjoy your ice cream. Don't listen, Michael. <laughs> enjoy your ice cream without acid reflux. That's the power I got going through you. What does that feel like? It's hot. Really hot. So um, that's, you'll feel this heat in your esophagus. You feel that? Yes. So that's the power of God. Jesus Christ is lining your esophagus. Amen. He's lining your esophagus. He's lining. That is lovely. Lining your esophagus. You're healed. Go and enjoy your ice cream. So what, what does that feel in your esophagus? It feels better now. <laughs> it feels hot. It was hot before, though. Very hot. I get constant neck and back pain. I Just help her up, Michael. That's the power of God going down your back. Going down your back, the power of God. So you've had a problem here that's being healed now in Jesus' name. She's well. Power of God going down your holly. Sometimes you feel like your brain's vacant of memories. Vacant. Yeah. Would that be an apt description? Yeah, it would. I forget things a lot. I remember a little boy, I won't tell the whole story, but he was brain damaged from car fumes and he couldn't remember his parents who committed suicide. 
and we prayed and instantly God restored all his memory and he sat down and he started crying and crying and I said why is he crying that and they asked him he said I remember my parents yeah so that's the power I got on you Michael you get yourself into interesting places That's the power of God going through your mind in Jesus' name. Andrea. Any prostitution? Yes. In the family, yourself, what? My daughter and myself at one point from drug addiction. I'm just telling you because God loves you. I love Him. So you've given your life to Jesus? Yes, I have. You've got a good church? Yes. Move the chair. Move the chair. Move the chair. Can I have a bucket? <laughs> okay, Andrew, get up. Up, Andrew. Up. Loose your hold. It's coming out, Andrea. It's coming out. Do you feel that burning in your stomach? Yeah. That's the power of Jesus Christ delivering you. Delivering you. You, ask, you want to ask the Lord's forgiveness for everything, prostitution, drug addiction, all the things that happened, stealing him? Yes, I want to ask your forgiveness for stealing, for prostitution, for every drug-related thing that I've done, for the unholy soul tie that I have for 20 years with my son's father, for abandoning my children, and for... Did, did did you give your daughter drugs or something? Did you give her a syringe or something? Yes. Because I'm seeing you administering the drug. I gave her a syringe that she administered to herself. So you want to confess that? Yes. I gave my daughter drugs that she administered to her body. And it's the biggest mistake that I ever made. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Did someone have an abortion? I had an abortion. My daughter had a miscarriage. So with that, you're free. With that confession, you're free. The blood of Jesus. Through your confession, you're free. Okay? Okay? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus set me free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So can you bring your daughter tomorrow night? Yeah. Bring her tomorrow night. She, her, t her night is tomorrow. Would you like to tell Jesus how you feel? I love you more than anything in this whole world. And I would give anything for you. I love you so much. I want to walk one day with you in heaven, Father. I give you my all, every last thing in my life. It's... Be at peace, Holly. Uh, Andrea, be at peace. Someone give Jesus a clap. Oh, I wonder you to pray for me for the impartation and the breathing problem. Yes. 
So the Lord has placed at the entrance of a church two angels. Yeah. And not everyone who comes to the door will be allowed in. Because not everyone is sent from God. So these angels, people of bad, bad character, people who want to cause trouble, the Lord knows their hearts, the angels will turn them away. Okay? <laughs> I see two angels, they're guarding, they're guarding the church. Okay? So you don't waste your time with people with those sort of problems. They cause division, gossip, all that. So they'll come, they'll come to the door and they'll walk away. And we don't know why. So don't be upset. You might invite someone and they come to the door and they walk away, but don't even know why. Don't worry. God sent them somewhere else. Okay? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Now I'm seeing the church account, bank account, and I'm seeing the anointing moving in the bank account and prospering it and blessing it. Okay? So uh, I'm seeing right now the anointing is moving in the church bank account. Amen. And one day the treasurer will say, wow, we are blessed. Amen. Revival fire for Pastor Brian, I forgot to get you up praying. My apologies before. Yeah. Uh, revival fire. Pastor Brian, you want to pray for them? He has such an anointing on him, fire on him. Revival fire. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I just pray the revival. Fire, 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 Holy Spirit. 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 Jesus' mighty name. The mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Hunger and thirst for righteousness. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you for your healing today. Thank you for your glory. Oh, thank you for touching everybody today. Oh. <laughs> What's happening over here? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your. So, what's the problem? Uh, my eyes. I can't see properly. I can't read. I can't read. You can't read. Yes. I can see, but I can't read. That's you can see, but you can't read. I can't read a small print. You ready? Yes. Be free.
Thank you, Lord. That's power I got on you. That's power I got on you. Power I got on you. What does that feel like? It's good. Why are you crying? I don't know. You don't know why you're crying? What do you mean? I feel happy. You're feeling happy? Yes. I mean, yesterday you prayed for my uh, fire anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I felt the fire anointing and I got peace. And I'm very happy. <laughs> Praise God for that. Where's the cancer in the uncle? Oh, he's in India now. Where is the cancer? It's a stomach cancer. So you believe that Jesus will heal him? Yes. That's the power of God coming on the cancer. Power of God coming on the cancer. In Jesus' name, we rebuke this cancer. We command you out of him. Out of him, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. Cancer, we command you out of him, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out, now, in Jesus' name. I believe he's okay. Bertie, is it? Bert, yes, Bert. Bert. Mm -hmm. What happened to you? Oh, yeah. Um, we'll talk about it later. Are you able to walk or not? Are you able to walk? So, um, when I walk, I'm, I'm balanced. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michael, just hold her hand. Just come over here. Everyone, pray. You believe that Jesus will do this? Amen. Amen. Just receive, okay? If you want to be healed, receive. That's the power of God going through your spinal column. Power of God going through your spinal column. Power of God going up the spinal column. Nervous system, nervous system, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the Lord Jesus standing at your feet. It's the Lord Jesus standing at your feet. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that's the power of God going through you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. There you go. There you go. You can get up now. Okay, just find yourself. Just get rid of that piece of paper so she doesn't slip on it. There we go. All right, your head in one space. All right, let's go. Just let her rest with the surgeon, okay? Just rest with the surgeon. What's happening? Ah, amen, amen, amen. So uh, the Lord is faithful.
Okay, I believe you're all right. Walk. Just walk. I believe that spirit of dizziness is gone. How's that? Uh, I, feel, I feel light. So. You feel light because you were delivered. Amen. Look at that thing. That was you. So the curse is in there now. All right, so don't go back to it. Amen. Amen. Okay, so tell us how you use that. So, uh, that walker really, it, uh, it helped me to not to, to lose control. With, uh, with, the, with the headaches and then uh, the, the dizziness, it's it going to cause imbalance. So, um, if, if um, I am in a place that uh, I cannot uh, hold anything, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall. Uh, I fell a lot of time, so that's why, uh, that's why I was um, using that, the doctor, the doctor. So, what did the doctor say was causing the dizziness? So the other doctor didn't know what what uh, what was wrong. Yeah, what causing the the, the Well, I'll tell you. The you were delivered of the spirit of dizziness tonight. That's what I believe. A spirit was causing you to be dizzy. So you just walk now. You're okay. Someone say praise the Lord. Someone say, praise the Lord. What do you say, sister? Amen, amen. I feel, I feel happy. I feel uh, light, light here now. So, yeah, I'm so happy. So bring that here, Michael. You want to say goodbye to it? Oh yes, really. Say goodbye to it. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Someone say praise God. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. Uh, two years ago, she had a quadruple bypass, and they put the dye in her her arteries and stuff, and she was allergic to it, and it's damaged her kidneys and she needs a kidney transplant. They said they can't do a transplant because there's scar tissue on our kidneys. So only God can fix this. What's her name? Stacy Lynn. You're the mum? Your stepdaughter. So we need a miracle, don't we? Yes, we do. Only God can do this. And our God is able. Yes. Yes, he is. So let's close our eyes. You want to close your eyes? And Lord, we ask that you touch this lady. How old is she? 47. Would you touch this lady, Lord? Heal her, Lord, in Jesus' name. Heal her, Lord. That's the fire of God entering a body, fire of Jesus entering a body, coming around the kidney, right kidney, left kidney, fire of God coming around the kidneys, coming around the kidneys, coming around the kidneys, coming around the kidneys, around the kidneys. in Jesus' name, Jesus' name, Jesus' name, Jesus' name, everyone pray, in Jesus' name we speak to the kidneys, life, in Jesus' name we speak to the kidneys, life, There we go. Power of God going into the woman. Power of God going into the woman. Her heart. Her heart is under the power of God as well. Heart is under the power of God. I believe she's okay. Remove unbelief. So, so what did you learn from the sermon? You need to trust in God and follow him all through your life and stay focused on him, work with him. He's the rock of your life. That's right. True. That's right.
So it seems to me you're not in the place where God would have you right now. Okay. So it seems to me that God is going to move you. So you can expect change. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because the place where you are does not have the blessing that this other place has. Okay? So you can expect change. So don't fight change. Okay? You've, he you've heard a prophecy. So now when it happens, rejoice. Because you will go to a higher level of blessing. So who's thyroid? For me? Yours. Yeah. I have eyesight problem. Thyroid. Get out. In Jesus' name, come out. What are you doing up? In Jesus' name, get out. In Jesus' name, come out. I said, come out. Now. You're healed. So I think I talked to you guys last night about a, a baby girl. Yes. Is that right? Yes. What do you think about that? Well, for many years, we've been getting prophecies about babies. So it was, it's been about baby girl, baby boy. So whatever the Lord has in store, we receive it. Amen. Well, Lord, we just believe for Alex, Father, in Jesus' name, we rebuke the tinnitus. You know, I had tinnitus for a year, and I had to put on music at night to sleep sometimes. I couldn't hear people speaking. It was so loud, you know. And, uh, well, Jesus healed me. You know, like I just kept claiming the promises of God, you know. And uh, I thank God. So we're believing the same for you. Amen. What he'll do for one, he'll do for the other. Yeah. Amen. Just come over here. Get up. In Jesus' name. I believe he's okay. I believe he's okay. All right? Praise God. You know, prophecy, this is the way I look at it, might be different from other people, but prophecy contains power. Right? So if I, if I say to someone, you've got a right leg problem, and I pray for the right leg, but it was actually the left leg, I got it wrong. My words were wrong, but the left leg gets healed because there's power in the word. You see? Yeah. So we, we believe that there's power. So what I'm trying to say is just receive the power and receive the blessing, however it comes. Do you have any problems with blood sugar? Be healed. You're healed. Weren't you over there? You come back for a second one. <laughs> God loves them. You feel the power of God on your mat? Yes, yes I do. I feel it in my back. When you were speaking to the other lady about her, uh, about the kidneys, I felt it too. And uh, I felt it go up my spine into my heart. I just feel tingly all over since I got here. That's the power of God on you, healing power of Jesus Christ on your mat. Tap. That's the healing power of Jesus Christ on you. 
So that's the power of God on your blood pressure, diabetes, power of God on your blood pressure. In Jesus' name, we come, spirit of infirmity, come out. In Jesus' name, I'm talking to you, spirit of infirmity. You're fine, Matt. What is it? Tinnitus. My ears are ringing. Be healed. Your wife, Jill, she sometimes burps. Yeah, sometimes. It's like burp, burp, burp. So I'm looking at her stomach, digestive system. It creates this gas, which causes her to burp sometimes. Yep, it does. <laughs> She's healed. Hi. My name That's the power I got on your neck. So you've had some problems with the muscles in your neck. Okay, and that's the power I got on the bones as well. Power I got is on the neck muscles. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed. What does that feel like? I feel something on my neck like, I don't know how to say, but something happened on my neck. You're healed. You can get up now. I don't have a card. That's all right. I came over here so you'd pray for me, but I feel when I'm in the presence of the Lord or multiple times during the week. So I'm looking at you. Jesus is looking at you. What does he find? What does he find? So examine your heart so that what he finds is pleasing unto him. Does that make sense? Yeah, he's looking at your heart. He loves you. May your heart be pleasing to him. May your heart delight in him above all else. Okay? Is there anything else you wanted? I'm sick. Okay. So, first of all, get your heart right with God. Okay? So that's, that's the first thing. All right? That's what I've been given to tell you. Okay? How does ADHD affect you? Um, I have a hard time paying attention um, to my like, um, work or the environment. And you on medication? Um, yes. I believe she's free. Is this your daughter? Yes. Ola? Yes. I believe you're free. So go back to your doctor, talk to him about the medication. Because I believe you're free. Okay? What do you feel happen? Huh? What do you feel happen? Um, I feel like I'm free. You're free. It's gone. All right? I don't believe you need medication. So go back to your doctor. Okay? Why do you need deliverance? Uh, it's a thing my mom is signing me for. <laughs> so what's his sleep like? He's not a good sleeper. He's very restless. How did I know? God told you. So he's asleep but he's restless. Because there's a spirit disturbing him. There's a spirit disturbing him. He 
is free. Mum wrote all of these up. <laughs> I just think he's a good boy. You a good boy? Oh, yes. So the Lord's given you a servant heart. That means you like helping people. Okay? So, so all your life, that will be who you are. You just love to help people, serve people. That's who you are. Okay? So... Um, so be happy with the way God's created you. All right? So he has, uh, he was diagnosed with autism. Uh, he hasn't spoken yet. And when we give him, give him a pen and a paper, he, like we see a different spirit. Like he cries as if, you know. I understand. And then, um, but let's just uh, wait on the Lord, you know. Let's just wait on the Lord. Jesus Christ, darkness, leave him in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, darkness, leave him in Jesus' name. That's the Holy Spirit, darling. What's your name? Melita. Melita, that's the Holy Spirit. That's the power of God on him. Power of God on him. Lord, we believe. Amen? Yep. We believe, Lord, that you have healed this child and he is well. Amen. We believe. What's the problem? Um, par my parathyroid is. Um, your thyroid? Yeah, my parathyroids. They have to do with your calcium. So they're putting more calcium into my bloodstream and into, not into my bones. <laughs> come here. Melody, come here. Come here. You're okay. We believe you delivered, sister. Don't hold that sign up. It's done. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now go and serve the Lord. Amen. Right? Nothing about the past. It's gone. Okay? So who are you? A daughter. Amen. A daughter in Christ. What's your spiritual state? I'm saved. Delivered. I'm delivered. Free. Free. Full of the Holy Spirit. Full of the Holy Spirit. Oh. You believe that Jesus will do this, Rock? Yes. Mm -hmm. Come out. In Jesus' name. Come out. Fibroids. Come out. Come out. Well, it happens around here, Jenna, doesn't it? I like it. Come out. So we've got three fibroids? Um, it's just the mammograms just show all fibroids. So They're coming. Coming out. I'm seeing three large ones be removed. Is that right? I don't remember. <laughs> Here they come. Amen. Amen. What do you feel happen? Uh, just power of God just going through my body. <laughs> so uh, 
It's a blessing to hear back from you guys, you know, when you get healed and delivered and everything. Right into us, come to another meeting, testify. Look at all these beautiful kids. Are you ready? Yes. What are you going to get? He forgot everything. No memory loss. I mean, uh, he can't remember anything. He's, he was genius. My, my problem at this point is the... It's because of the several strokes I had. I lose. He lost. I lose. Your memory, yeah. Memory lost quite a bit. That's a problem. So which side is affected by the stroke? Both, because he had... Uh, Two big uh, strokes and then mini over 200. He's just. He's so, do you believe that Jesus will do a miracle? Yes, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here because he is genius. God gave him. He's man of God. But do you believe Jesus will do it? Yes. Oh, yes. He has done a lot. So, our faith is resting in Jesus. Yes. Yes, I do, 110 percent. I used to mind the problem, but just pray for me in the field. Walk. Come, sister. Just walk. How was his walking before? Um, very good. He exercised and everything, but he got wobbly lately. Yeah. Now. He's not wobbly now. I know, I see that. Yes. Say praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. He's my God. He's everything to me. Everything. Jesus is. Amen. Just take it. That's the fire of God going through you. 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 You know what happened to you, Janet? You got you got Baptist Baptist religion knocked out of your head. That's what happened to you. I have a lot going on in my body, a lot of illness. I've had a lot of grief and heartache as well. So Do you know why? About the illness? The whole lot. I'm sorry, what? The whole lot. No, I don't know why. I think I've been spiritually attacked, the calling on my life, but. You ready? Come on, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to someone else. I'm talking to you, to shut your house. I'm talking to you. Leave her in Jesus' name and never, come on, get out. I'm talking to you, get out. 
take your sickness with you, take your troubles with you, and leave her. You're leaving now, now, now. You ancestral spirit, leave her in Jesus' name. Call fire on you. Fire of God, fire of God, fire of God, fire of God, all over you. Fire of God, all over you. Fire of God, all over you. You're free. What do you feel happen? You're free. Praise the Lord. Lord, for those watching on YouTube, I bless you in Jesus' name. Let the anointing that's in this room come upon you in Jesus' name. I'm seeing your back being healed. Your back being healed in Jesus' mighty name. Your kidneys are being healed in Jesus' mighty name. I command that spirit come out of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose your hold. In, there you are. You are free. You are blessed. Amen. For those in poverty, be blessed. Amen. Good night, everyone. Love you all.